What's going on guys, Matt Wasik here. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. Yeah, I'm wearing an Elmer Fudd hat. It is winter in Minnesota at the end of January here, negative 20 degrees, so anyways. So a few days ago, I'd asked the members of the Paper Call Lead Gen Pros Facebook group, which by the way, if you're not a part of, you should go join, there's a link down below. But I'll put the image of the poll right here on the screen somewhere either left or the right of me. And I'd asked basically what type of content you guys in the group and just the following here and my subscribers want to see. An overwhelming response was mostly on-page SEO, on-page content and website design. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're going to get into setting up the URL structure of your pages so that way they're set up to rank on page one of Google without even any links in some instances depending on the competition level and what types of searches you are targeting. So we're gonna hop into my computer in a second. I'm gonna take the Elmer Fudd hat off because I don't really need it on to be working in my office, but we're gonna get that and we're gonna get everything set up and I'll show you guys how to do this step by step and you can actually use a 100% free WordPress plugin to set up your metadata and your description and your URL and everything like that, 100% free. It's really, really simple to do and once you have it down, you can replicate this to all of your sites and have a lot more success with your Google ranking. So let's do it. Alrighty, welcome into my computer. So what we're looking at is the basic structure for what you'd want to have when you are building out any type of locally based lead generation type of website, whether it's for a paper call affiliate campaign, you're selling the leads to another business, or you're building this for your own business or building it for a client's business. This is the structure you'd want to have set up. And we'll hop into a WordPress backend of one of my client sites here in a moment. So that way you can understand how we silo these. So that way the structure is good because the reason that we want to structure these sites in this manner is so that way one, when the Google bots are crawling the site, it's super clean, super organized. The sitemap is really indexed and very, very organized. And two, link juice will flow freely from each one of these pages. So if we send a link to the homepage, each one of these pages, all of them down here, are going to receive link juice. And essentially that's basically trust and authority that Google sees and it helps us with ranking our pages that we want to rank. And these four pages here are your core pages that you're going to see on basically every single business that's a locally based type of company. You have your contact page where you have the information on how to get in touch, contact form that's embedded in there as well. Then an about us type of page, so that goes in depth with the history of the company, the owner, pictures of the team, all that sort of stuff. Services right here, which usually will contain a bit of information on all the services that the business provides. And sometimes if it is a type of company that offers a big realm of services, you may branch out into doing specific pages for each branch of service. So if this is a landscaping company, you would have the service page, service one here. This first page could be about landscape design. And then this one could be about the landscape installation process. And then the final one here about lawn care and maintenance. And then we get over to this final page here, which is the service area page. And basically the purpose of this page is to list out what cities the business works in. So if you're doing a paper call affiliate or a lead gen type of site, you, you would list out all the cities that you are trying to basically rank the site for. So if you're covering an entire metro area, you're gonna have all the cities listed within a metro area, and then eventually you'll be creating service plus city pages that will link from this page to those pages. So for this example here, we just have three, one of them being Minneapolis, the other one St. Paul, and the last one Rochester. So the information that's on these pages is going to be all about these services right, right here. So landscape design, landscape construction, lawn care all those in Minneapolis and with tons of content regarding each of these services in that particular city, lots of imagery, maybe video, and then also embedding a, either a Google Maps with the city of Minneapolis that's highlighted, or you have the Google My Business listing embedded on the page. Same thing for St. Paul, same thing for Rochester. And then you'll also want to be linking between each one of these. So maybe at the bottom, you could say something along the lines of, hey, we also service St. Paul, or we also service Rochester and vice versa. What that's gonna really do is be sending a lot of links throughout the entire site, really just making your website one big ball of fire almost in a way. Then when you start building links to your site, whether it's web 2.0s or PBN posts, blogger outreach, anything off the website that you're sending a link from it to your site, that inbound link, is going to transfer its link juice if it is a follow link from the site to your site and then when it's set up perfectly like this you're going to have that authority and trust just flowing through everything and eventually once you build up enough of trust and authority these specific pages that we want to have rank which are these ones right here these city plus service ones so that way when someone types in landscape design minneapolis we have 
that page show up. Same thing for landscaping Minneapolis in this instance, and then also lawn care Minneapolis. Now that's a pretty competitive city. You may even have to build out specific pages. You'd, you'd have individual service and service plus city pages for each one of these service branches, but to keep this example simple, we'll just have all of them on there. And so like I mentioned, once we send enough links and enough authority gets transferred over to our site and it has passed through and you even send links over to these particular service plus city pages, and as these are ranking, we then start getting targeted traffic in each of these cities. So if this is a plumbing paper call affiliate site, you approach it in the same manner, the same exact structure. This structure here though, will be the exact same for basically every single local business type of website that you build. It does not matter your monetization strategy, whether you're building the site for a client, you're doing this for your own paper call or lead gen campaign, the structure remains the same. We still wanna rank these service plus city pages for the relevant keywords that the page is all about. So now for actually executing the proper silo and URL structure, your meta title and meta description as well. So let's say we're building out a page from Minneapolis. We're gonna do landscaping and design. And then we can maybe pull one of these brackets, lawn care. And you can maybe even throw, if you wanted to throw Minneapolis in there again, you could. If we were to click publish, it would show us the URL of always greener lawn pa.com slash all of this stuff right here and there'd be dashes between all these. That is what would show up. We do not want that. That's really, really ugly. So what we wanna do first is edit how we want the actual permalink to be for this particular page. If your domain name has the service in it, so if it's a plumbing related niche and you have a website called North Metro Plumbing, for example, you wouldn't necessarily need to put the word plumbing here because it's already in the URL. So you could just cut this off at Minneapolis, for example. So that's what we'll do on this particular page. So now to make sure that this URL will show the domain.com slash service area slash city, you come over here to page attributes and you'll see the other core pages. So you have the about us, the blog, contact us, home, and then service area. And then being as this is the first page that we are building, this is going to be number one. And from there, you just continue your order, increasing the number as you add more pages. What I usually will do is I'll take some of the biggest cities. So these are the ones that are going to be the most popular. So if we're doing one for the Twin Cities metro area, I'm going to have Minneapolis number one, St. Paul number two. And if we're going to Rochester number three, then I'll go up to St. Cloud number four, for example. And then you have the suburb cities and the other eight towns and areas beneath that. Being as those are like the anchor cities to the area, for me, it's just worked better for my rankings. So I'm not gonna click publish on this page because this is a client site. I don't wanna hit publish and then have it get pinged and then start getting indexed and it's a blank page with nothing on it. So what happens though, when you do click publish, it'll put our URL in the structure that we want because we have the parent page of a of service area. And then when we hit refresh, it would show Minneapolis right here, Minneapolis landscaping and design. So for setting up the meta description and meta title, you're gonna want the all-in-one SEO pack plugin for your site. It is the absolute easiest one to work with. So for the title, I will usually do exactly what I want to rank for. So for this instance, we have Minneapolis landscaping, and then also usually Minneapolis design or landscape design will fall into play here. We're gonna use some other synonyms in the description so that way it enhances it. People don't type in Minneapolis landscaping design. They're gonna type in Minneapolis landscape design. Then we also have lawn care in here as well. So then for the meta description, we want to be throwing in some synonyms and other words that are related to these niches. So that way if someone types in paver patio Minneapolis, we can have this page show up. Or if they type in mowing Minneapolis or grass cutting, you could throw, you wanna throw those types of words in there. You also wanna be throwing those types of words in the content of course as well. This is basically the front line right here that someone's going to see when they're in the search result. So we'll just say, looking for the best landscape contractor, Minneapolis, call us today. And then I sometimes will put in the phone number here. And sometimes Google will hook you up with an extension and on the mobile search result and it'll have a tap to call right below your listing in the SERPs. And that's something that's really cool, really increases your click through rate. So call us today at phone number for your landscape 
And then throwing in other words that are related to the niche. So paper patios, retaining, or we'll do boulder walls. So there we go, a website structure that you can replicate across every single website that you build, whether again, it's for a client, for paper call affiliate, lead gen, whatever it is, using this structure is what's going to help you with ranking your site. Especially if you're looking at a bigger website where you wanna be ranking for maybe a hundred or a couple hundred keywords across the whole metro area, where you have 50 or 75 cities and you wanna rank for different service branches in each one of those cities. And then you can start really getting some traffic coming in and conversions. So. If you like this type of content, be sure to go down below, drop a like on this video. And also, and if you're not subscribed already, be sure to go join the family, smash that subscribe button down below, hit the bell for notifications so that way you know when the newest content comes live. And if you are interested in the paper call lead gen mastery course, where you can learn to be proficient in doing this type of stuff right here, building out websites to rank in the search engines and monetize them. There's a link right down below in the description. And if you are interested in the nine most profitable paper call and lead gen niches, there's a link to download that in the description as well. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow in the next one.